Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Mervin. Welcome back to the Kid Hoarder Stash. As you can tell, it's still winter time. I have like two shirts that I wear out here in the doghouse because it's kind of cold out here. Even though I have some heat, it's still kind of chilly. So I have two shirts. So you can tell it's winter time because I'm still in the Yeti to party shirt. And I am, I'm Yeti to party because I'm really excited about what I've got today on the stash. So for Christmas, my friend Mark gave me a um, gift certificate for West Valley Hobbies here. And I went in the other day, I looked around to see what I really wanted, you know, what might be really cool for me. And there was some good things. But then he calls me on Saturday and he says, hey, remember that one thing you wanted a while back? Well, they've got it in. So I head out there and guess what I picked up with my gift certificate? Yes, the Mobius. The Mobius HO scale, uh, Munster's house. <laughs> um, price was forty dollars. Of course, I paid a little bit less than that, and I had the gift certificate, so I paid even less. So, without further ado, no, look, it's still in. It's still in shrink wrap. Isn't that cool? Not for long. We're gonna open this thing up because this is something I wanted on the train layout for. Um, Halloween and well I wasn't going to pay the exorbitant prices that I was seeing at the time and I couldn't find it locally and you know I really like to buy local whenever I can I just I'm that way I like to support my local hobby shop as much as possible so let's open this thing up it's a skill level three. Oh, sweetness <clears throat> so it's molded in kind of a tan color and I can already tell you that my plan is going to be to paint this on the sprue. So here is the base with the steps and gives you the size of the size of the house. So that'll be nice. That's going to be really nice. Well, here's the first sprue. Um, I can't see any real flash on the parts and nice crisp moldings. Look at the uh, really nice. Um, scroll work here and uh, texture and I uh, like porch posts that's pretty neat okay so there's that piece looks like we have a lot of roof here roof a lot of plastic bags okay so here is some of the roof here is I call it a barbette because that's what it looks like, the barbette from a battleship, so, um, or in a castle or whatever you want to call it, the tower. We'll call it the tower because of the house. Okay, how's that? Um, again, no real flash. Um, the the uh, shingles aren't really individual. They're just kind of, <laughs> they're waves molded here. It'll be okay. They could have done better, I think, but it's okay. This is an old kit from what I understand. Mobius has just re reboxed it. Um, one of the side walls. This actually doesn't look bad at all. I like that. Maybe it's just because I'm excited to build it. One of these days I'm going to have the Psycho House too. Well, I have that. I live in it. But I mean, a model of the Psycho House. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Um, again, more panels and walls. Yes, this is definitely something that I'm going to prime. And then I'll go back and I'll paint the, uh, the colors of whatever I decide to, to paint it when I get to that. Most of the front parts of the house it looks like. Including the front doors, which are closed. We have a weather vane. North, south, east, west. That's cool. We have a TV antenna. 
<laughs> that's the there's even a little bat for on top of it i like that um the spindles for the like porch pillars and it looks like oh yeah brick for the for the base that goes on the base there so it's going to be <coughs> excuse me real easy to paint all that um separately and then here's the destructions and i'm going to have to make some trees like this that just looks so neat um the destructions are let's see how many parts for the destructions looks like there's eight steps in the destructions um the tower the base uh the one large part of the house the roof roof and other additions and things and there's even appears to be kind of a paint guide on the back here <coughs> brown cream white maroon copper black not real detailed on the instructions but hey yeah there is some uh, suggestions there on what you can do so that's nice and a picture of what it looks like when it's built so um not too bad but it, this to me is really cool it looks like we have some transparencies of some like uh curtains you know things to put over the windows so if i want to light this thing which you know i do um and we'll talk about that when i get around to building it but yeah stuff to put on the windows the inside of the windows <laughs> oh yes this is going to be a fun build hopefully i get this done before halloween this year as you know i've got a lot of things on my list to get built this year as we talked about in one of my earlier shows my uh my new year's goals my resolutions i resolved to build most of these models that we talk about <laughs> i'm gonna try <laughs> anyway this one i'm really excited about as you can tell and for the money for the 40 bucks i'd say yeah it's definitely worth it and besides you get the monster house in ho come on that's the most awesome thing ever so anyway folks thanks for joining us today on the stash and uh check back with us for the weird stuff that we do on mondays and uh, we'll see you next week on the stash thanks for joining us